Okay, we're on the M1. And we're driving very carefully at 60 miles per hour. <laughs> um, I am, I, I've, been, I've been contacted by somebody that follows the channel um, and I'm down, going down to his place to buy his retro game collection. And I'm really excited, Jess. Are you excited? Of course I am. Anything that makes you happy oh, is exciting. Nice. I am so excited. Like, this is what I live for. This is, this gives me so much adrenaline. And I cannot wait to get back to the Lady Lounge and go through it with you guys. This is probably going to be a long episode, so please watch it all, sit back, chill, and let's go on a mad retro gaming adventure together. <laughs> and here we are. This was the shelf that Mark introduced me to that he was selling as I arrived to collect absolutely everything. And I just keep needing to thank Mark so much for reaching out to me. We both agreed on a price and we were both very happy with just you know him selling it and me buying it. And it's sat in the game room as I record this and there's so much organizing to do. So if you want a part two to this, please let me know if this gets 500 likes, then I will do a kind of update on where I'm at, what I'm kind of doing with everything, where it's all gonna go. But for now, it's just absolutely amazing to be able to show you guys every single game and every single retro game console in this video. So I know we're going to be watching this live if you're watching it live. Hello. Um, but if you're not, if you're watching it on the archive, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because when I started 2020, I set myself some amazing goals and I did a review a couple of months back about how well I'd done so far. We've got the Starwing competition cards from Blockbuster. You know, there's so many things that I've achieved this year. This was a complete surprise. This was a complete surprise, but I think people, a lot of people subscribe to my channel because I think I'm quite devoted to retro gaming and for me, it's just a way for me to relive my childhood and i hope that you guys can relive your childhood as well and we can do this together so sit back enjoy and you can see how bold the car is getting we're about to kind of jump back to me concluding and just kind of driving away from this particular pickup before we then dive into the retro game room because i know you guys are dying to see exactly what we got so let's do this welcome to the fantasy zone you guys saw me and mark loaded it all up big shout out to you mark thank you so much for reaching out to me i'm freaking I'm, I'm a little bit shaky actually i feel like my adrenaline is through the roof because doing things like that gives me the biggest buzz of my life and i am so freaking blessed to be able to share it with you guys and i know some people really don't like like my enthusiasm but this is a, the best thing in the world like when i was little i couldn't afford games like my dad didn't buy me any games he bought me all stars with the all stars um, kind of box set you know the the super nintendo and that was it i lived on trading i lived on borrowing and now i'm in a position where i'm able to buy all this cool stuff and it literally just feels so freaking good are you how stoked are you though you said wow didn't you yeah it's very well organized i mean that's awesome so thank you mark i'm gonna have so much fun with this can't wait to get back and show you guys and i can't wait to see what is actually in all of this So yes, I purchased somebody's entire retro game collection and I'm gonna try my best to take you through every single game. I just need to put a disclaimer out. This is going to be a long video. Please don't watch it if you're gonna skip it. Please watch the entire thing. Um, there's no easy way to film it. So it's gonna be kind of show and tell. We'll move over there. There's gonna be no gameplay, nothing. So yeah. It's been a pretty epic journey. And again, thank you to Mark. Um, we've got Nintendo Wii, Panasonic 3DO, Super Nintendo, DS, Game Boy, Mega Drive. There are consoles. I mean, I just don't know where to start. I'll probably start here with the Super Nintendo stuff. Um, wow, I mean, flipping heck. There's unboxed stuff as well as boxed. 
and I am so freaking stoked. I actually don't know what that is. Um, I don't know if that's a Famicom cartridge. I don't know, but we'll kind of leave that there. So, got some unboxed Super Nintendo. Then we'll, you can kind of see the box stuff here. Um, NTSC Super Street Fighter 2. We all love a bit of Street Fighter in our lives. And speaking of PAL version, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which is definitely my preferred version. Um, I was like, when Mark emailed me, I was so, kind of didn't think it was real. I thought it was a scam email and I wasn't gonna email back, but thankfully I did. Um, I believe this might actually go in here, which we'll take a look at because there's a Super Nintendo variant down here that I don't own. So, um, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff. In fact, I'm going to put them back in here. I'm going to try and do this as strategically as possible. Now, here's an absolute couple of corkers. Check this out. Wolfenstein 3D on the Super Nintendo. This is quite obscure. This is quite an obscure game. Now, is it complete? It, I can see the manual. It's in beautiful condition. Mark's really, oh wow, check out that. Again, additional stuff. I'm gonna have to put a bunch of stuff on Instagram. That We just need to kind of get through this and show you exactly what is in this immense collection. So I'm really, really happy with that. Wolfenstein 3D, Super Castlevania 4. I don't own a PAL version, I own an NTSC version. So finally having this in my collection is immense, absolutely immense. Everything is so, so, like the boxes are so darn crisp. Next up, another one I don't own, ActRaiser. Wow, guys, <laughs> I'm a little bit overwhelmed filming this. Trust me, everything is boxed, manual, complete. I'm gonna kind of give everything a wipe down. I think these have been stored away in an attic somewhere. Um, the Lord of the Rings, Super Nintendo, again, I might have an NTSC version of this. I'll have to kind of do a little little um, kind of tally up. I might have to gut the game room actually and reorganize this whole thing from the ground up. So if you want to kind of see that journey, please subscribe, leave a like. This, let's get this video to 500 likes. If we get this video to 500 likes, I'll gut the game room and I'll redesign it. Lemmings, pretty tasty. Um, Batman Returns. Oh my God, this is, this is mind blowing. And I kind of, I feel so humbled and so blessed to have this. Um, I just can't freaking believe it. Now, this is the red version of Super Mario World. There was a yellow version as well. And I believe that there was a black box, predominantly black. Um, so really gnarly. Now this is one that I own on PAL and NTSC. But my big question is, does this have the tip card? There was a little pack, well it's got the map. Let me check, because I've never owned a copy with the tip card. So I'm quite, oh, it does, oh wow, that's fantastic. No, mm, there we go, that's the tip card. I've never owned it with the tip card. It's even got a poster in. Oh, this is, this is, I'm so humbled. I'm so humbled, I don't even want to make this video about me, I just want to make it about our childhood, you know, my childhood, your childhood. This is where it's at. So there'll, there'll be more Super Nintendo stuff about all this, I'm pretty darn sure. Um, but we're gonna keep going. I kinda, it's it's not overly organized in here. I'm actually gonna chuck that down there and we'll dive into this one. Now this is PS2, um, we got GameCube. I mean, wow, I mean, this is just absolutely, let me kind of get this. This is a copy of Driver anyway. It's, um, there are a couple of discs in there? No, so that's an unboxed copy of Driver on the PS1. But in here, there's a whole heap. Um, let's kind of, I mean, there's, we, we've, got, we've got things like, I mean, I'll show you additional stuff. Lotus Challenge, nothing major, you know, nothing to kind of shout about with this side of things, but everything's in really good condition. Um, Zombie Zone. I don't think I own Zombie Zone. I don't think I own Zombie Hunters. Does anybody recognize that case? Does anybody recognize that case and have you played it? Um, again, we'll, I'll show you all of this, but there's nothing that kind of, I look at that and I go, whoa. I mean, that's amazing. But again, really freaking stoked. 
Um, what am I going to do with it? Well, I'm going to have, like I said, I'm going to have to have a massive reshuffle. Let me kind of picture this up for you guys. Let me just kind of show you guys exactly what we got here. Um, that is one of the PS2 boxes, obviously, with driver. T uh, driver. So really, really good. Um, if I can just, so I'm eager to see this now, actually. Let me, this is the Super Mario All-Stars plus Super Mario World console SNES variant. Beautiful artwork on the back. This is one that I don't own and on its own goes for around 190 to 250 quid. Now, let's have a look what it includes because I've had to wait a few days to have the time to even film this so i haven't really looked into any of this it's only me sweetheart it's only me so that unboxed game actually does go in here there's the con oh look at that we got the manual um we got the poster we got the uh, the console itself this is amazing and there's two controllers i think one that yeah third party so that's a competition pro controller and um, but that looks phenomenal yeah so that that game the the game in there belongs in that so i need to kind of switch that back around and um, put that away Whew, this is intense man i mean i do need to kind of re go through all of this what is that um oh okay and then the instruction manual which is actually a massive why did i not know this why do I not remember that? Look at that. How epic. Why do I not remember that? That new spray man. Oh, it makes me so happy. <laughs> Honestly, this, Mark, you've, you've made my year. <laughs> um, this is amazing. So let me just carefully put this back in. Uh, I might even cut the camera here, actually, guys, because you really don't need to see me putting stuff back in boxes now. And just like that, we're back. We got one, two, three, four boxes here, three boxes there, one there, multiple boxes. That was Molly hitting the camera. Thanks, Mol. Um, so I hope you guys are still comfortable. Now, we have a lot of GameCube games here. So we've got some really tasty titles here. So let's kind of go through them, shall we? So we've got Harry, po Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. I don't own this, so this is great. Um, wow. Wow. Need for Speed Underground 2, so to all my petrol heads like Reese, Waz, I know my Red also loves a good Need for Speed game. Molly's clocked a cat and wants, do you want to be in the video? Do you want to be in the video, Sausage? You going to go out? Um, so yeah, pretty cool because again, I don't own this. Some not so good titles like, you know, kind of FIFA here, um, F1 2002, Madden 2003. In fact, I'll pull out all of the sports titles now. Um, ESPN International Winter Sports, NHL 2, so not, and then FIFA, two copies of FIFA, 2005, you know, um, but then there's some really meaty titles here, so we've got, let's kind of come back through, Time Splitters 2, which is an absolute fan favourite classic on the GameCube, really awesome first person shooter there, um, this is box complete, we've got Medal of Honor Frontline, all out multiplayer warfare so another nice kind of nice one in the collection um tony hawk's pro skater 4 the sims busting out i'm not these i don't really know some of them i obviously do like mario kart double dash and resident evil 4 which we recently completed on stream molly are you having a field day or are you having a field day i might just need to cut and let this little puppy out Next up then, uh, some Freedom Fighters from the makers of Hitman 2. Don't believe I've played this, uh, but I can now. Um, Resident Evil, so wow. Yes, Resident Evil, the, the, the remake, the first remake. Two discs, I forgot that the GameCube version was two discs. Um, Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Another game that needs a HD remaster, in my opinion. I don't really think Resident Evil 4 needs a remake. Molly, you can stay out there, love. Uh, Shrek 2 and Shark's Tale, not really my kind of thing. But again, games that I, I don't own, so there's a lot of this that I don't own. Um, we've got Sonic Mega Collection, 
Um, great game, lots of different games on this, like Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, etc. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2, not played this for ages. I think I had a Matt Hoffman game on the PS2, pretty sure I did. Um, Scooby Doo, Night of 100 Frights, never played it. And then I actually just picked this up on the GBA. This is Mission Impossible um, Operation Surma. So I actually thought it looked really good on the GBA. So I'm hopeful for some great gameplay on the GameCube. So we ain't done. There's actually another box of GameCube games as well. This is in kind of no particular order, but I am going to do my best to keep everything back in. Um, and again, this will be reorganized. But for now, guys, we'll just continue. All right, we'll chuck that one there. We'll go in, we've got Dreamcast here, box of Dreamcast games. This video is gonna be so long, it's gonna be so good. Okay, let's have a look. Um, so Sega Dreamcast, as you guys can see, um, this is a seal, factory sealed copy of Tomb Raider Chronicles, no way. I will be keeping that factory sealed. You can see the additional glare there because I have it unboxed. It's quite a common Sega Dreamcast game. Um, what is this? Let me just have a, what is that? Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2. So this to me looks like a, a Japanese copy of Sonic Adventure 2. Um, some kind of anniversary edition. Whoa, that is also factory sealed. That is also factory sealed. What is this? Check that out. Dreamcast 10 year, 10th, Sonic 10th anniversary. Oh, wow. Look at that coin. Look at that coin. What is this? And then a little information booklet. So again, you'll see additional pictures on screen. What the hell? Check this. Oh, accidentally open the calculator as you do when you're that excited about retro games. Um, what even, bro? Mate, look at that. My goodness. This really is a belter of a collection. And then that is sealed. So that's a lovely little surprise. I never expected anything like that. <laughs> what? Let's carefully put it back. Um, Sega GT as well. So I think I, I purchased this a while back. I love me a good racer on the Dreamcast. Um, this has no label on it. What is this? Um, this is NFL Blitz 2000. I'm not a huge American football kind of girl, just as I'm not like a FIFA kind of girl either, but cool to have nonetheless. Let me pick out some juicy ones and then I'll just kind of show you the rest. Resident Evil Code Veronica, obviously. There's nothing overly juicy here, but I'm gonna let you guys decide for yourself. Let's take a quick video so you can kind of already see. Vanishing Point, Silent Scope, who wants to be a millionaire? Um, what is this? Let's have a look. Four wheel thunder. It's a little kind of off road quaddy kind of game. NFL quarterback, hidden and dangerous, Sega Rally, Tom Clancy, um, Sydney 2000. What is this? Um, Monaco Racing Grand Prix. What is this? Tokyo Highway Challenge. I've never heard of this actually never heard of Tokyo Highway Challenge. So, Virtual Tennis, Metropolis Street Racer, which I already own, Le Mans, 24 hour, Silver so, Round, uh, Runabout, so Roundabout, NBA 2K, Resi Code Monica. These tend to be kind of staple games in a Sega Dreamcast collection, um, but that is, everything feels like the cases aren't even broke. And then obviously there's that beauty there as well. So. Wow, talk about overwhelms, but we're nowhere, we, we, I can't even describe to you, we're nowhere near done. We are nowhere near done. There's more GameCube there, which we're going to go through now. So I've just noticed there's this GameCube box and then there's another one down there and then there's all this here. I mean, I am going to do my best to get this all out in one video. So like I said in the teaser, this is a video like no other. So. This looks like a much more interesting GameCube lot, in my opinion. Um, what? What, what, what? Zapper, never heard of that. And I'll show you 
So this looks like a One Wicked Cricket Zapper. Have you ever heard of this? But I'll show you guys now. We'll have a little flick through. Never heard of that. Universal Studios theme park. So it's a VIP ticket to a theme park adventure. So this looks like a, it's like a third person theme park adventure game. What? Never actually heard of this. This is so interesting to me. Um, but in this little bit here, here's what we have. Um, so we've got some true crime, Turok, the sum of fears, of all fears, Desert Storm, Die Hard Vendetta, Disney's Magical Mirror, Immense, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Ace Golf. Now that's pretty cool box art for a golf game. I am not a golf kind of girl. Super Monkey Ball, Super Smash Brothers, no way, no way. So again, some wicked titles in this one. We do have another box right there of GameCube games to go through. Um, Tiger Woods, Tony Hawk's. I do like Tony Hawk's Underground too. Really do enjoy, did enjoy that. Beach Spikes, Virtual Beach Volleyball. Okay. Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Lovely little isometric kind of dungeon crawler this. I loved this game. I watched my friends play it on the GameCube for hours back in the day. So, uh, I'll put that back in there. Billy Hatcher. I mean, you guys can see the kind of stuff in here is freaking great. Um, let me see. Ah, blue spine, um, but same cover as usual. So this is the second GameCube lot. Ah, this is just unbelievable. I'm going to kind of pile that there. Now we're going to jump to the, I don't know if this is the final lot of GameCube, but nonetheless. Ooh, it's heavy. Wow, I'm seeing, seeing some good stuff already. Metroid Prime, what? I mean, yes, there's some sport titles in this, um, but let me see this, is that? I thought that was factory sealed then. Back in the day when you used to buy them in high street, what even? So this is extreme racing. Um, I'll show you guys a little kind of roll through on what we have. So Incredibles, uh, some Tiger Woods stuff. Like I said, we've got the, the some sport titles there, including Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. Fireblade. Now, what is this? Oh, so this looks like some kind of uh, flying, almost like a Desert Strike kind of game. So if you're familiar with Desert Strike on the 16-bit consoles, then absolutely, that's what it looks like to me. Some FIFAs again. I'm not too fussed about FIFAs. Metroid Prime. I think I own this, but I don't have the player's choice version, so that is beautiful. Mystic Heroes. Now, what is this? Let me just put that there, actually. Easy to get out, kind of get out. Mystic Heroes. Never heard of this. So in a world thought to have existed, only in legend, four brave mystics rise against the shadow darkness that has engulfed the land. Cool. And then again, just some kind of generic titles, boxing it off at the end there. So might just have to clear some space while we cut to this lot. But rest assured, guys, we got Neo Geo Pocket, PS1, Sega Sand, we got all the consoles, we've got Sega Mega Drive games, we got everything here. Don't go anywhere. All right, we've got a box of Wii. We, then we got a box of PSP. PSP, I totally forgot about PSP. Um, now some really nice, let me turn these kind of around here, some really nice PSP games, I think. Aside from that one, I think I own most of them, but we're going to go through anyway. So this is really fun. Carnival Fun Fair Games played the heck out of this. It's four player. So it was like me and like three friends back in the day when it came out. And we absolutely loved it. Pizza Night and Carnival Games loved it. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. So a surprising great collaboration between two warriors of gaming. Again, really freaking enjoyed this. It's the 2008, I don't know. Yeah, 2008, Beijing. We Sports and We Sport Resort. Believe it or not, these go for a fair bit of money. Um, but I have, I don't know if I have We Sports Resort. I have a cardboard copy of the additional We Sports. We got Mario Kart and Rayman Raven Rabbits. Rabbids, sorry. A classic Zelda game. It's Twilight Princess. Might actually stream this. You know, might actually stream 
from the OG uh, GameCube, because I've got it on the GameCube as well, um, because I have the RetroSync 2X Pro, so I can do some awesome retro streams right here. Um, I'll show you kind of like this, because I don't think I own it. Cora Rinpa. This looks like a puzzle kind of game, so it says, this may be the world's most deceptively simple game. Here's the game in a nutshell. Tilt the Wii remote to roll the ball over various maze-like courses, including natural settings, cities, and even outer space. Yes. Reminds me already of Cooler World. Um, and then the remainder of what's in here, again, some really, really nice titles. Um, as you guys can see, GoldenEye, Red Steel, Mini Golf, bit of CSI for the CSI fans. Um, interesting box art. Resident Evil Wii edition, absolutely belting class. It's actually my favorite edition. This is my favorite edition. Um, rabbits go home. I think we had another, yeah, with Raven Rabbits, rabbits there. Um, Raven Rabbits travel in time. Wii Fit Plus and Wii Play. It's getting hard in here. <laughs> it is warm. Um, so yeah, we're making kind of even more of a pile there. I don't think I can pile this anywhere else. I'll probably chuck that there and show you the DS and the GBA. There's some wow, there's absolutely tons of stuff in here. Let's continue, shall we? Okay, let's move to the GBA and DS box now. There's a whole bunch of unboxed games here. Now I don't know if, because I can see that we've got Tomb Raider on the Game Boy Advance there, but I can see Tomb Raider on the Game Boy Advance there. So I'm thinking maybe some stuff's been kind of switched around and let me undo this. Let, there's only one way to find out. Um, let's have a butcher's. Yeah, that is empty. So it's in there. Yeah, 100%, but how nice is that box? What even? Can you get a better GBA box than that? Um, so what I might do is just show you the kind of box stuff, because like I said, I'm guessing everything. There's some, actually some game gear in there as well. What the hell, I'll show you everything. Um, so in this delightful box, then we have Tomb Raider, The Prophecy, never played it. In fact, never played a Tomb Raider game on the GBA at all. Uh, we got a classic here, guys. Mario Kart Super Circuit. These are all definitely empty because they're in there. Eye of the Beholder, Dungeons and Dragons, mate. Never, ever played it. Never, ever seen it. So this is immense. Um, t uh, what's this? Toka World Touring Cars. This looks lush from the... Uh, what do you call it, screenshots at the back. Um, this is a case, ah, okay. A numbered case for all the kind of DS cartridges. Um, not a big fan of stuff like that, but cool to have. Simpsons Road Rage. So think GTA, but Simpsons skin, pretty sick. Um, and then here we have a whole heap of really cool stuff, such as Mario Kart DS. Now let's just have a little, right, so these are empty. I need to put everything out of that bag and into here. But nonetheless, um, we got The Simpsons, The Game, Dragon Quest Sentinels of the Skies. I loved it when this came out. I bought this day one for my original collection. Uh, Burnout Legends, I actually just picked that up at a car boot. That It was really sun damaged though, so now I have a better copy. 42 all-time classics, so this looks like, I don't know, poker, dominoes, that does have the thing. And this looks also like a NTSC case. You can see like the PAL are white and the NTSC are black. Hotel Dusk Room 215. Interesting, never heard of that, but that looks cool. Legend of Zelda, a Phantom Hourglass. I don't think I own this. Uh, we've got Touchmaster, so this was like a little puzzle game that you used the stylus for. Kind of Tetris based stuff going on here. Monopoly, Boggle, Battleship, you name it, it's in here. That one does actually have the cartridge in. Advanced Wars Dual Strike. What? 
to, now have I got this? I don't know if I've got this or not, I don't know. But I'm gonna show you close-ups, guys. In fact, what I'll do is if I just kind of put these back here, grab the old dog and bone, you can see the rest of the games that are actually in here. Loads and loads and loads of games. Um, so here we go, we, so we got the Nintendo Touch Golf Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Let's have a look at this case. How beautiful is that? Oh, Super Mario 64, which I don't believe I own. Brain training, pretty standard for DS games. This is, hey, that's factory sealed. You see the little, what? A factory, what? In fact, I love it when you get factory sealed stuff. Um, Mario versus Donkey Kong 2. March of the Minis, Professor Layton's Curious Village. Again, you can kind of see that looks like an NTSC. New Super Mario Bros. Uh, we've got Action Loop here. And then we've got Tetris DS, which is a great little version of Tetris. If I do say so myself. Now, I'm curious to see what's in this little bag over here because I said I'm showing you all the games. So I'm showing you all the games. Now let's have a look, shall we? I'm just gonna go ahead. We'll tip them all. <laughs> okay, we've just got some like empty cases as well. So that will come in handy. Mario Kart Super Circuit, you see. So that's cool. Action loop, yes. Yeah, so these to me just look like the games that I've just shown you. That There's like Sonic 2 on the Game Gear. There's some um, GBC games here. So we've got Paperboy. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, Quest for Camelot on the OG Game Boy, Scooby-Doo, ah, Monsters Inc, there's so much, Men in Black, I'm dropping it all, these, this is Eye of the Beholder and Tomb Raider, so you saw the boxes for them, um, Outrun, this is a Japanese, is that a Japanese version, on the Game Gear, Looney Tunes, I mean there's a rumble pack in here, there's just so much stuff, Snoopy Tennis, the rest of it is all the, in the games that I've shown you. So, oh my God, what am I, how am I even gonna sort all this out? I, I don't know, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Let me just kind of go ahead and whack all these back in. Oh, don't go anywhere, because I keep saying it. We're nowhere near done. And you know what? That gives me a lot of excitement in life. That gives me a lot of excitement in life. So I'm gonna go ahead we're going to go and uh, put that there, fold it all up, and we have a few more boxes down here. So this looks, so this is PSP. Oh wow, we have another batch of GameCube games down here as well. Whoa! Okay, I'm just going to, we're going to go camera, all out camera phone for this bad boy. Looks like there's a couple of UMDs in here as well. Um, Tato Legends Power Up. Oh, great, great box art there. Great box art. Like I say, a couple of UMDs. Um, Pursuit Force, beautiful. Smackdown versus Raw. I mean, there's so much really cool stuff. It is just amazing. Metal Gear Acid, Colin McRae. I can really just kind of not tip it up now. Oh, Prince of Persia, mate. Love me a good Prince of Persia game. Pro Evo Soccer, Killzone Liberation. How gnarly is that? Look at all the stuff we still got to go through, by the way. Um, so yes, yeah, some wicked PSP stuff. Wipeout Pure. Mate, I feel so happy. It is unreal. Um, or oh, did we go? No, we haven't gone through this. We haven't gone through this. This is another, like I said, another box of GameCube games, which we're going to look at now. <laughs> I hope you're still here because this is insane. Um, okay, let's have a butcher's through. What takes my mind? Right, this looks interesting. Neighbours from Hell on the GameCube. Neighbours from Hell. Luigi's Mansion. This is the player's choice version. Um, Big Air Freestyle. Sonic Heroes. Oh God, there's so much really cool stuff here. Time Splitters again. It's a couple of doubles, but that's okay. Um, this is a good game. I'm gonna show you this right here and then I'll kind of 
we'll switch to phone cam um wave race blue storm and highly recommend you get that if you like wave race on the n64 think wave race n64 but on the gamecube um what is red card is that some kind of football game yes it is never heard of that i guess there's a reason for that <laughs> um and then in terms of what we have i'll just kind of recap it we got nhl uh, 2002, 2003, some James Bond from Russia with Love as well, Spider-Man, like I said, we got a, we had a copy of Time Splitters 2 earlier, um, this was the MXO Motocross Superfly, interesting, what's this, 18 wheeler American Pro Trucker, wow, so much, stuff. that's the fourth, the fourth box of GameCube games. We need to move over there now. Um, what I might do is swap all these boxes with everything that's over there. Whew, and then we'll keep up the pace, baby, let's go. Right, I've switched around some stuff here. These are what you've already seen. Um, might as well show you this first. We've got a boxed Donkey Kong bongos. Don't own the box, but I do have an unbox. So, so stoked to get it boxed. So freaking stoked. Let's take a peek inside. We've got the game, obviously. Um, and then the bongos themselves, ton of fun. Jess used to love playing this when she had her collection over in the States. So, I, you know, if you have any memories of playing any of these games, I want to hear from you. Um, now we'll take a look at this big ass box right here. Um, oh, whoa, 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 we got more. We've got more GameCube games, really good games, whole heap of controllers, a wee like, what the hell? No way. So, what even? So in terms of games, we've got Mario Party 4, this is GameCube, Pikmin, Super Mario Sunshine, 007 <laughs> Nightfire, Battalion Wars, the player's choice version of Super Mario Sunshine and Mario Kart Double Dash. We got GameCube. This is a game third party GameCube controller. An original GameCube controller. Two original Super Nintendo controllers. A Wii U dock. A Wii U? Is there a Wii U in here? A Wii U docking station. A light sensor bar for the Wii. Some Skylander stuff, which I don't really care about. I mean, there's just odds and ends in here now. I'm not really fussed about the Skylander stuff, but they do make for cool figures though, let's face it. <laughs> so this is a little kind of knick-knack box, um, which is amazing. And uh, I just love it because I just, this is my thing. And then here, I think I had a quick peek in here, PS2 games. Now already I'm seeing Clock Tower 3. Already I'm seeing Clock Tower 3. Um, yes, we're seeing Clock Tower 3, which is here. Right, this is getting streamed. This is getting streamed. I need to stream Clock Tower 3. I can do so through my Retro Tink on original hardware. Um, we also have Silent Hill 3, Silent Hill 4, Silent Hill 2, Special Edition. Um, What's that? Spy the slide two band of thieves. I'm gonna show you guys close up to this because I need you to kind of verify. Like that I'm, whoa, that that seems like an obscure game. Is this an obscure game? Sly two band of thieves. Um let me just kind of move these back as well. So we've got like I said, the silent hills. Um I might as well kind of show you the rest of what's in here. That look this is intriguing me. Very much so. Clock Tower 3, as you guys saw. Um, snowboard Racer. Dastardly and Muttley's Wacky Racers. Oh my God. Look at it. And then obviously for my petrol heads of the channel, we got a Ratchet and Clank game as well. Awesome. Absolutely wicked. So yes, we have even more PS2 games, guys. Even more PS2 games. We've got two boxes here to go through. I just, I feel overwhelmed. <laughs> This is unbelievable. We've still got consoles to show you. Yeah, I mean, what even? <gasps> mm, pockets. Pocket Neo Geo. Mm. 
Wow. Okay. This is this is amazing. Pocket Neo Geo. We have Pac-Man. The classic Pac-Man. Whatever that is inside, little weird ring thing. Um Pac-Man. We have Card Fighters Clash. King of Fighters 2. P.O. Pop, never played it, but I've heard it banded around quite a bit. Dragon's Wild, so this looks like a kind of puzzly card game, etc. Neo Geo Cup 98. And they're so hard to get, these games are. Crush Roller. Derby Champ, this is a Japanese one. These look Japanese as well. Sonic Advance pocket advance metal slug first mission <laughs> i mean this is insane shanghai mini fatal fury i mean this is unbelievable turf masters dark arms oh that looks cool baseball i mean check check it out guys check it out this is the neo geo pocket bits again japanese Japanese, Japanese. I love Japanese box art. It is just so pretty. And then just check it out. I mean, let's have a look at the condition. I mean, look at that. Just look at it. <sighs> Overwhelmed.com. <laughs> what even? And then, oh, we got more. We got more Dreamcast. Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, I mean, wow. Let me very cautiously, without bashing the camera leg, this is PS1, Sega Saturn. Some Dreamcast stuff in here. Woo! Not a massive amount of uh, Sega Saturn. Battle Arena to Shinden, don't own that. Wipeout is a classic. Virtua Fighter 2, £1.99, look. Oh my God. Worm, Sega Rally, and then Bug. We got Bug here. Let me just carefully. Bug is there. Oh, look at it. It's just the cases that just get absolutely trashed to bits, though, don't they? Uh, I mean, the, the, even the discs are in great condition. There's a little spider in there. I'll keep him in there. Bug, how ironic. <laughs> um, so, in terms of like. Dreamcast, we've got some soccer, Railroad Tycoon, NHL, Power Stone, Choo Choo Rocket. I think I own them. We've got a Dream Key that's sealed. We've got um, a Dream Key manual. <laughs> what even is going on? What is this? Dream On Collection. So this is a demo. Playable, Sonic Adventure, Ready to Rumble, Rayman, Buggy Heat, Snow Surfers, Incoming, Red Dog. And then there's like movies in there. What is that? Monopoly 3, that's a copy which yeah, I'm not really too fussed about. Um, are these 3DO games? What are they for? PC. Again, not too fussed. And in terms of the other stuff that's in here, you can see the PlayStation games. Are these? These are PC and Mac. Ah, cool. Sweet. So that's a nice little box there. I'm loving that. And the OG Tomb Raider, of course. I have a signed copy by the devs. Absolute classic game. Absolutely classic. So that is lush. I mean, you've seen all that. You, I mean, we've still got loads to go. There's another box here. Looks like it's got some handheld consoles in. Oof. Alrighty. So we have a Joytech case with a DS light in by the looks of it. That looks amazing. Nice white DS light, great condition. Got a little rumble pack in. Um, oh, this is so cool, I'm, I'm so happy. We have a Game Boy Color box. I don't own a boxed one. Um, is it in here? Let me, yes it is, oh my God. Wow, there's also this look. This has got to be an SP. 
oh it's the classic it reminds me of like somebody that has like a cheap tattoo on their arm or something that's in beautiful condition beautiful condition um, we got an, an original GBA the kind of mildly purple translucent version this is the Neo Geo pocket and then a game gear and there's some GameCube <laughs> we got GameCube um, memory cards there's Spider-Man in this does this have any kick to it? no I have a charger though I still need to send I'm getting mine the capacitors replaced on mine I've actually paid for it but I still need to send it off um, so that's that we have more to go let me just do another swapsy and then we'll come back okay you can see a few new things that have maybe come into the frame including the top loading Panasonic 3DO um, this box is in wicked condition I have had a quick peek in here and there's an even right check it out a boxed controller I've never seen them boxed with the controllers there's an unboxed one in here as well and there's some games so we have we got um, Striker World Cup nothing major and John Madden football on the 3DO and then here we got Mist as well get in oh I love Mist it's so good so good I mean how freaking cool how cool is that how cool is that Whew. when it rains it pours guys okay we do have some consoles here so I'm going to try and show you these first I'm not quite sure what that is okay this is a slim ps2 with one two official controllers there's a fat ps2 over there as well um I do own the silver and the black as well with that I'm gonna chuck it there now this is an Xbox crystal and apparently it's modded with a ton of emulators on so I am so excited to see how this plays out and how the emulators run I've always wanted to try Xbox emulation and now I can with the power of a beautiful Xbox crystal Um, yet again another console box Sega Saturn um, games master LMP controller uh, got the console unit in there and um, you know what a Sega Saturn looks like guys we don't need to kind of flog the horse so to speak um, but really really good condition box and then this if we can do a little swap seat I don't know what this is ah this is a GameCube what so we're going console crazy now to have a game in no so we've got the power pack got a little Scott connector there and a really nice purple Nintendo GameCube um, what's in there and then <laughs> we've got a Dreamcast bit yellowed but nonetheless amazing absolutely amazing and then this is a third-party competition pro controller again not even gonna take that out the box because it's a Sega Dreamcast and we've all seen Sega Dreamcast so we got the Dreamcast, GameCube, Sega Saturn, Xbox Crystal, Panasonic 3DO, PlayStation Slim. What's this? Oh, so this is just kind of like random wires. Look, it's got the SingStar stuff in and the kind of like controllers for the quiz. You know, those things. Um, probably won't use them, not too fussed about that. Um, in terms of like usability of course I'm bust um, what do we have here what is this ah a Mega Drive a Mega Drive console Mega Drive 2 and um, definitely the sleeker design out of the original and then two original controllers Again, you don't need to see cutaways for these because you guys don't know. We've still got the Mega Drive games to show you. I've even got a boxed Mega Drive console. And then, oh, oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Check it out. One of the translucent N64s with a translucent controller with all the cables, memory card rumble pack lego racers 007 oh, 
What a beautiful addition. How gnarly is that? I'm going to carefully put these back so I've got some room to show you the Sega Mega Drive games next. But I will just quickly, if I can, and there was this as well. So this is, let's have a look inside, shall we? The Sonic the Hedgehog Sega Mega Drive. If I can pull it out. Hang on. So stubborn. Come on. It's really dusty. Wait, there's a game in there. Can I get the game? It's really dusty. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> but that is awesome. I always used to love the artwork on the back as well. Like with the screenshots of different games that I could not afford as a kid. Um, hashtag poor. But hey, we're all good now. So, two box of Mega Drive games then. So we have, let's spin it round. We've got NBA Jam. NBA Jam. Box complete. Again, I'm going to have to clean all this. But that's absolutely fine. We, we like a good clean. Uh, James Pond 2. Super WrestleMania. Two copies of Sonic 1, Sonic 2. Um, I'll show you stuff on the phone. But we've got some unboxed stuff here as well. Pink goes to Hollywood. Um, we've got Lion King, Shadow of the Beast 2, um, World Cup Soccer, Lemmings, Dizzy. I mean, the list actually goes on. This is the <laughs> this is the most rush I've ever felt in a um, in a video. But again, just a quick look here inside with all of these boxed Sega Mega Drive games to go on the shelf if I can find space. And then we also have <laughs> another box of Sega Mega Drive games. If I can just very carefully, I'll just chuck that on there. And then this, maybe not as exciting. Um, again, another copy of Sonic, A Castle of Illusion, Mutant League. Now that looks cool. I think I have got that Mutant League football um, boxing. Again, some Madden FIFA golf, um, is that snooker, Micro Machines Military, awesome stuff. And yeah, so I've got all that stuff there that you've seen. All this, all this. Where am I going to put it? I guess it's time for a mammoth clean out. So, what a video! What a video, what an episode this has been. I can't thank you enough for the support and I can't thank you enough for watching this video in its entirety, if that's what you've done. If you're new here, from the depths of my little soul, please hit that subscribe button. I think it's pretty clear how hard I'm working to build the channel and just to perpetuate my childhood memories and your childhood memories too. So if you've seen something that you like in this video, subscribe. And uh, yeah, there's plenty more awesome stuff to come. I might do a little follow up on this. So if you want a part two on kind of where I've put it all and if I do got the game room, like I say, if this video gets 500 likes, I will got the game room and I will redesign it. <laughs> I'm gonna regret saying that. But for now, have a great day. See you in the next one. We're going big or we're going home.